Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. So we are midway through winter and is that why isn't I reloaded the game. Of course, it's uh, it's uh, it, it's another recording session. So I guess the Wizent took taken off. Took taken. <laughs> it the Wizent took off. <laughs> there we go. All right. So we have a couple things that I uh, we need to do before we can head back home. Uh, I'm gonna ride into Hornica and go and do a bit of bit of business before it gets too late. Uh, it is uh, early evening. Uh, but I think we should be able to do some business. I have a few items that I can sell. And, yeah. So let's let's head on in here and see if we can... There we go. All right. Nice. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Carolina is... It, wait a minute. Ca Carolina, I think, is one of the people that sells things. Yes, she is. All right. So here's the situation. Um... I have currently 5,764 coins. This little this little horse here is 5,600 coins. And I'm hoping that we can make a bit of cash. That's actually one of the reasons why I wanted to uh, sell a few things when I came up here. Hello, Helga. How are you doing? Would you like to buy some arrows? <laughs> oh, I know. Or linen thread. Hang on a minute. Let me... Oh, actually, we, we should do this correctly. Um, let's see. Arrows. So we could sell arrows to you, and that gives us 6,700. That's kind of nice. I like that. Is there anything else here? Oh, I've got that freaking crossbow. You know what? No, I'll hang on to it. I, I, I keep picking... <laughs> I'll go now. Thank you, Helga. So we're going to sell her arrows, and then, uh, over here... Oh, no, that's, that's Carolina, isn't she? Now, where does she get to? Oh, is she actually in here? She might be in here. Hang on a minute. There's Leonard. Oh, there's Carolina. And Carolina here, she is the seamstress, so she sells uh, all that sort of stuff. Um, I could sell her linen thread, but I don't think I will. Um, I'm going to sell her... Uh, we're going to sell her the... Alruna's finest crafted boots, because I know how much her and Alruna get together, get along. So yeah, there you go. That's that's just a bit of a. There we go. <laughs> She's like, oh great, great. You made me buy some of that stuff made by that my, my that evil evil uh, person that I can't stand. All right, now we want to find Yan. Now Yan is he usually yeah he works in the uh, in the he's still in the smithy. Okay. Let's go talk to Yan. And uh, I could have sold him arrows, but uh, he that's thats what he deals in, is like uh, bows and arrows and stuff like that. And I don't think he wants... Uh, I don't think he could use more arrows to sell. Um, so I so I'm going to sell him linen thread instead. So there you go. I think that uh, that's it. And now we've got 7,900. Okay, I'll go now. <laughs> I take small perverse pleasures in selling people things that they don't use, especially inside of a single village uh, where there's a smith. I'll sell the smith the, 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 the thread, and then I'll sell the tavern keeper the arrows. I, I think that that is a... And then spitefully sell some of Alruna's finely crafted boots to the local seamstress. What do you think? It's a... <laughs> Am I am I stirring the pot? <laughs> All right, so let's do this. Let's go and take a quick look and see if there's anything else that we can sell. I don't think there is. Uh, oh, he wasn't able to buy all the linen thread. Well, in that case, I think what we need to do is go back and, and talk to her. Oh, is there anybody else? I don't want to sell the linen thread to the seamstress because she might actually be able to use it. Hmm, okay. Now, do you have any money or any... Oh, you don't have a lot of money left. But here, buy some thread. There you go. And uh, we still have 17 left. Um, <laughs> Helga, I'm not selling you the thread, Helga. You might be able to get some use out of it. Leonard! Leonard, 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 Leonard. Leonard, no, where are, you, where are you going? Leonard. He's not interested in talking to me right now. Oh, does that mean that I have to go and talk to Yan? Is he not interested in talking to me? Uh, uh, uh. No, I've already cleaned Yana. Oh, I think I might have to. All right, all right, that's fine. 
We'll, we'll just have to do it. We'll we'll talk to we'll talk to uh, Carolina. Oh, for crying out loud! Okay, would you like some thread? There you go, eight eighty eight hundred. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, Carolina. <laughs> All right, and you know what that means? That means that, uh, well, let's take a look at something. Um, if we go to management, we'll see that the uh, our taxes are 2,000. Uh, so I should be able to, even though, uh, yeah, I should, I'm should. i going to have enough money. I'll be able to raise more in the spring, uh, so I'm not too worried about it. I just didn't want to impoverish myself too much when I knew I had taxes coming. Whoa, hey, you. <laughs> um can we buy you? Yes, I would like to buy you. There we go. There. All right. And that still leaves us with 3,200 coins, so we should be fine. Wait a minute. That's the female. Oh. Whew. Hey, let's get some... Okay, good, good, good. I thought that was the... the I had specifically wanted the, the, the black male because I already have a, a female horse, you see. Now... Can I, can I hop on the horse and ride with my torch out? Oh, I can. Look at that. Okay. So what we have to do now, I think our, our work here uh, is done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cruise on back to the my village. And uh, you know what? I've never done a night ride. Oh, this is going to be kind of cool. I was going to cut away, but I'm, gonna, I, I'm curious as to see how this actually turns out. If we run into any trouble. I don't think we will. Oh, look at that. Oh, there goes my torch. But look at... It. The, the moon is out. It's a clear night. You know what? We can see really well. So I'm not going to worry about the torch. Let's just... Let's just... Uh, let's run through the night. Out of the way, boars! <laughs> I think we're fine. I think it's only the wolves that pose a problem. And even then, I suspect... Well, I'm not entirely sure, but it... I wonder if the, the wolves are only a problem if you hop off and you try to fight them. And then they go after your horse and your horse doesn't defend itself. I'm really not... Oh, boy. Oh, that... I, I don't even want to know what the, just happened. <laughs> I think that was a deer. What the... What? Oh, I'm I'm in trouble. I'm actually thirsty. Okay. I've been not paying attention to my own health. Well, I'm I'm good. I'm good. Let's just keep going. And uh, <laughs> that water is uh, in a ravine. I don't know if I can get to it, anyways. So, and it shouldn't take too long to get back to the to the base. Uh, can I actually drink water from the back of the uh, horse? Let's see. I can. There we go. Look at that. Have a few cabbages. We're just going to have a little bit of a cabbage cabbage and water snack on the on horseback on the way back to home. I think that that makes sense. <laughs> oh, this is actually kind of cool. Oh, no, no, no. That was a wolf. I don't think I don't know if I how many times I don't know if I've ever run into wolves along here. Oh, they're on me. Uh, I don't, and, and I, and I think I've lost track of where I am. Uh oh. Uh oh. Are they? Are they? Are they keeping up? <gasps> they are. They are. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, where's that wolf? Did the wolf come down here? Did we lose the wolf? I think we did. Oh. Oh, that freaked me out. <laughs> that wolf was on me for a while. Holy moly. All right. Okay. So what I'm... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, and and I really did uh, do something with the stamina on this horse. That is uh, pretty. Uh, that's pretty amazing. Okay, well, 
<laughs> yeah, that was uh, unexpected, and, uh, and and it did kind of freak me out just a little bit. Let's hop off of this horse and... <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, I can't... Am I stuck? I am. Okay. Am I going to have to uh, back out? Actually, what we could do maybe is, is do this. And then... And then I should be able to hop off. And then... There we go. Oh, my goodness. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go and do a little bit of a recon here and see if uh, if we have a, a wolf issue. I just want to make sure that I didn't lead a wolf back to my, my, my village. That, that would be uh, very upsetting. Although, my people, I think they can handle the wolf. Uh, better than I can. I've got to get some stamina back. Okay. Wow. That was, uh, that was something else. And, uh, I'll be honest with you, I, I also, uh, kind of started to lose track of where I was. I couldn't stop to look at a map. Well, I guess I could have. I think time stands still when you do certain things, so conceivably I... Oh, there's a boar right there. Is it just me, or is it weird that there's a boar in this that's this area? Oh, I, did I overshoot? I did. Okay. All right, all right. Anything else? Any other troubles? No. All right, let's get this boar. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's keep going. There was more than one boar, wasn't there? Yes, there's another boar. There's three boars. Okay. Let's see if we can take out this one. Oh, no. That one's running. Okay. Let's uh, get some stamina back. I, oh, I overshot again. Okay, where's the other boar? Did the other boar just run away? I think it did. Okay. I think we're good. Let's let's uh let's get this one. Oh, this is uh this is very tense. <laughs> Night hunting for boar. It's been a while since I've done this. There's the boar. He's got he's got his bum to me, doesn't he? Okay, this time. There we go. There we go. All right, are we clear? I think we are. All right, let's get this boar. Yeah, like I need more meat. <laughs> like I need although the leather, actually, is it leather? Yeah, leather is nice. I, I do appreciate the extra leather. And then there was a wolf. Now, the how f did the wolf follow me, though? How far? Because I could have sworn I heard that wolf uh, chasing me quite for quite a while. Um, yeah. Well, I think the wolf is clear. I don't think it's anywhere near the village, so I, we're in good we're we're in good shape in that respect. So I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, I think we're fine. Uh, I did clear out those boars though, and I don't remember the boars ever being there. That's the first time I've seen them in that specific spot uh, between my base and Hornica. That is interesting. Uh, did there, was there an update that I'm unaware of? I don't think there was. Okay. Well, let's just head back into town. I'll put away my bow. Uh, oh, we should. I think I did. I lost an arrow, didn't I? I was. I misplaced some arrows. Yeah, I, I misplaced a couple. Um. And then, yeah, I missed misplaced two. So maybe we could see if we could spot them. But I'm not too worried about a couple of arrows. I think we can handle that. Well, it is disappointing to lose them though. Uh, let's see if we can. I'll tell you what. 
Uh, I think the uh, the the interesting part of this event is <laughs> it's done. That was a. I was actually debating whether I wanted to even ha do the night ride on on camera, just cut away for going back. But in, it it ended up being kind of fun, so I'm actually glad that that we did uh, did do that because uh, it was a lot more exciting than I uh, than I expected. All right. Well, we lost a couple of arrows. I'm going to call that a win, though. That's not a big deal. So, yeah. See, there's boars over there. But not usually up there. Hmm. All right, I'm going to cut away for the night. Um, take care of a bit of uh, organization and a bit of preparation. Because uh, tomorrow, we need to start working on getting ready for spring. Uh, yeah, that's, I think, that's, that's, yeah, that's what we want to do. So we're going to work on spring, getting ready for spring in the next one. Uh, we've got a lot we've got to get done. Oh, look, my horse even went to sleep. Oh, that is so cool. And then we've got this little one right here. Oh, look at that. All right. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the morning. All right. Welcome. Oh, look at how nice and snowy it is today. Whoa. <laughs> She's so quick. Hello, Norberta. Hello, dear. Um, can you have a minute? Oh, can you help me with something? Can you heal my wounds? Uh, here, actually. Um, hang on. Let me just... Uh, okay. No... What are you waving your hands at me like that for? Oh, my health is 100%. It must be because of when I went to sleep. It was, uh, uh, my health was a little damaged, uh, last night just because I think I left it too late with food and all of that sort of stuff. So, uh, and now I realize that, uh, yeah, um, I didn't need healing. So, all right. What did I do overnight? Well, I just sort of made sure that things were sound. Look at that. Oh, look at the horses. Oh, look, look, look. I'm going to have to come up with a name for, for this horse here. I oh, I might oh I'm not sure I I I'm I'm thinking well we'll have to think about a name for for the black horse um we have applesauce here of course and yeah I don't know we're gonna we're gonna find out we're gonna figure that out the uh, basically the other thing I did was I made a bunch of food uh, so we have uh we we had no potage there's still no potage but I made a whole bunch of stews. Um, it does seem, I made 33 of them, by the way. Uh, it does seem that they prioritize potage over stew, which, I don't know, I thought it would be the other way around. I think stew is a more interesting meal. Yeah. Uh, all right, so it is the last day of winter before we head into spring. So there is some stuff that we need to do. I did double check the situation with uh, fertilizer. We have 300 and some odd fertilizer. Uh, I thought, you know what? Let's, uh, one of the things I do, I'm going to make sure we have more fertilizer. So I'm just going to whip up a, uh, a few, this is super quick. And then this will just, we'll just get this going and then we can chat about what I want to do today. Uh, so I need to review the fields. We need to make sure that they're the way we want. One of the things that I have to do is I have to convert the, I have rye right now and it's going to be harvested in the spring and we need to uh, convert that to oats. So uh, I have a couple of fields, the 32 units each for a total of 72, and they're providing all the animal feed uh, for my operation. And for one half of the year, it's, they're growing rye. The other half of the year, they're growing oats. And, of course, rye and oats combined, plus straw, I believe, uh, is what you need to make animal feed. So we're, gonna, we're going to have the ability to make some animal feed in the spring because I believe I already have some oats kicking around. And I just need some rye. Um, rye. Well, actually, you know what? We're gonna. I might be wrong about that. I might actually have some rye in stock. I'll gonna, I might go take a look because we're going to have to investigate the animal feed situation regardless. So let's do that. But first of all, we're going to make a bunch of fertilizer. And is it one to one? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is one to one. 93, 94, 95, 96. Oh, that's weird. Is that a delay? Oh, there it is up there. 101. Okay. Oh, hey, how's it going there, Dargarad? Dargarad's working hard because, you know, he's he's that kind of guy. All right, let's uh, let's head back. <laughs> glub Glub. <laughs> I'm going to name, I hence name you Glub. No, I'm not going to name you Glub Glub. Oh, hi, Osmond. How's it going? Oh, he's very busy. He doesn't have time for my shenanigans. Uh, oh, the horse. Okay, so we've got... Oh, there's the horse. Oh, 
Isn't it amazing? I do like this horse. I really, I'm looking forward to this being uh, an adult. That'll be so nice. Anyways, uh, let's first of all, uh, let's come in here. We'll, we'll drop off the fertilizer that we made and check out the situation. So we currently have 502 fertilizer. So that's pretty good. Um, we can always whip up more because I do have a lot more manure. I have another 459 manure. I have uh, 1,891 rot. So we're doing fine as far as uh, fertilizer is concerned, I believe. Now we have 120 oat grain and we have uh, 174 rye grain. Now how much animal feed do we have? We might be out. Yeah, I think we are. So what I'm going to do is let's, let's work on that. Uh, straw is definitely lowering. Somebody um, mentioned like, uh, well, can't you pick the straw yourself with the reeds? And yes, I can. I can augment this fairly quickly. But my concern is I wanted an automated way to get straw, like gathering or something like that. And really, I think it's you get straw when you process rye um, and you get straw when you process wheat. Uh, but you use a lot more of it than you do rye, so you have to augment it a little bit. I'm not sure if I'm making sense. I'm going to make 100. Let's grab enough to make 100 rye grain. Uh, well, 100. Um, let's, yeah, we'll just, okay, I'll grab 100. <laughs> I'm just going to, oh. I need to plant oats in the spring. I need, and I have no more oats to process, do I? Do I have any oat grain in the... I can't take too much because I need to be able to plant. Uh, oh, we have 249 oats. I'll tell you what, let's grab that. And we'll grab 100 of you. And yeah, that's. I think we'll use that. And then we've got rye grain here. We've got wheat grain here, cabbage seed, flax grain. All right, I think we're in good shape. Oh my goodness, this is getting very complicated. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some straw. Uh, and then we're going to go and maybe take a closer look at the situation. I'm going to grab 200 just so that I have uh, uh, more than I need probably. And then we're going to go take a look at the, the math perhaps in, of animal feed. Um, rye versus oats versus straw and... I might be wrong, and that's what I want to check out here. Uh, wait a minute. Animal feed. <clears throat> oh, I, I don't have any oat grain. Right, because i got to process the oats. Oh. Hey, Dargrad. Sorry, I need to I need to barge you a little bit here. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> there we go. See, I'm so much faster than he is at this. So, for each oat that we process, we get one oat oat grain and one straw, right? For each rye that we process, we get one rye grain and one straw. So 100 rye and 100 oat produces 100 oat grain, 100 rye grain, and 200 straw. Okay, so that's the, that's the formula. And what I can't remember is how much straw does animal feed require? If it's if the formula for for animal feed is one rye, one oat, and two straw, then that's a direct 100% conversion. So those 100 oat grain and uh, uh, sorry, 100 oats and 100 rye will produce, uh, well, presumably 100 animal feed, right? And but I suspect, and I might be wrong um, because I don't remember, it might be more than two straw. And if it's more than two straw, that means that I need to start pulling straw in from other processing. Maybe wheat, maybe because I've, I've got a bunch of wheat that's going to come in, and maybe that's enough. I process wheat for flour. Oh, hey, buddy. Yeah, sorry, man. I keep... <laughs> it's like, dude, stop it. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Uh, it's five straw. This is what I thought. It's actually significantly more so... I'm only covering through the rye and the oats as far as the source is concerned. Only uh, two out of five of the straw that I need to make animal feed. Well, let, let's just make the 60 that we can, and we're going to have to get more straw. And so this is where I was getting at what I'm trying. I'm, it's about the balance. 
between like your what you can supply versus demand as far as the animal feed is concerned um just the rye and the oats is not going to produce enough straw to make to support animal feed right so i need to come up with or figure out where else i'm going to get straw from either that or i'm going to have to manually harvest straw uh in order to keep up with it and that's what i'm trying to determine so i, I hope that makes sense <laughs> it's what's going on in my head at least um uh, long story short i need to feed my animals <laughs> <laughs> that's something like that. So there we go. There we go. It's just, I don't want starving animals. That's bad. Um, all right. <clears throat> so that's why I'm prioritizing this right now. So <laughs> we're just going to make sure that the animals don't starve. Okay. You know, this is actually fairly quick. It's like 43, 44, 45, 46, 40. That's not bad. What is it? Two seconds per? Something like that. Maybe less than two, actually. Huh. All right, well, let's just finish this off. We're going to go around and we're going to top up the animals to make sure that they all have enough feed. Um, I suspect the horses go through a lot, but we're going to find out. So let's head on over. Woo! Oh, is there anything in the barn's inventory? Let's just double check that. There's fertilizer. That's okay. We can live with a bit of fertilizer in the barn. That's. I think that'll be fine. Okay, that's cool. Oh, and I want to take down the uh, the the. Uh, <laughs> well, excuse you, uh, the fishing hut, because I I'm not using it, and it's kind of you know in the way, uh, and I have to pay taxes on it. Um, all right, let's check out the animals. First of all, you are at eighty three percent, so not too bad. I don't want to fill anything up until I. <laughs> 70%. So the pigs, I did refill all of these to 100% at one point. So what we're seeing is the relative usage by the animals of each thing. So 83% versus 70%. So the pigs definitely go through more feed than the geese. I mean, duh, right? Although, this is 88%. So it seems like the... Uh, the, uh, the the goats and the sheep are, are going through less than... Well, they're going through uh, more... Well, yeah, less than the pigs and more than the geese. That makes sense, actually. Yeah, actually, that does make sense. No, it doesn't. They're, they're going through less than even the geese. All right, the horses, on the other hand... Oh, the horses are doing... Well, now, to be fair, I only had one horse up until last night. So, yeah. Now, this one I have to... Um, oh, we've got somebody to take care of. Now, which one is not being manned right now? Let's take a look. Uh, what what of uh, the animal buildings... Are they all being... They are. Okay. In that case, what I can do is I can just put the animal feed in, in storage, and then they'll take care of it. So, there we go. Okay. And also... Um, well... We could, uh, let's take a look. What do we have for wheat? What is the wheat situation? 152. We're going to have a, well, it's going to take about a, yeah, it's going to take all year. We just planted wheat and it's going to take all year for that to actually come around. I suppose we could process it, but I think I might let my people do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what? Actually, you know what? I need another. Uh, I need to make another forty animal feeds. So that's uh, two hundred. I need two hundred. Uh, I need two hundred uh, straw. Oh man! See, this is. You know what? This is what I was saying. I might have to handle the straw myself. So we're gonna have to do that. And oh, look at that! Straw just happens to be right here. <laughs> now. If I have a hammer in my hand, is it quicker? Sometimes these things are quicker if you if you have one. But I don't think it is. Collect. Collect. I I hear you. I hear... <laughs> Where is the, the goose? Yeah, I bumped the mouse on the side of the keyboard. That's why I did that, by the way. Do, 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 do. You know, I, the things I do for the animals, I tell you. 
do you start complaining? You! Again! I am just... I All I'm doing is I'm, I'm picking straw for animal feed so that... <laughs> you're saying I'm not doing it quick enough. And that I'm horribly inefficient. You are always full of criticisms. Always. I, now, I really do understand the problems that the gander had. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. If I, if I had to be, man, I, I mean, you make me feel bad. <laughs> I do love the animals in this game, by the way. I, I find them, uh, very, um, uh, I don't know. They've got character and, uh, they're, they're really nice. To, they're nice to play off. Of. <laughs> they're fun. Uh, and, you know, the, the fact is, like, they move around, they do things, they'll run, they'll hop, and they'll play, and they, sometimes they go to sleep, and um, I think it's pretty cool. The pigs sit down. <laughs> Seriously. The pigs, I mean, you know, I know you, you've seen it, but it's, there's one right there. That pig is actually sitting down in the middle of a river. <laughs> it's amazing. It's very, very cool. All right, I'm probably not going to be able to... Uh, I'm not going to do this entirely on camera, but I am I'm going to make some more animal feed. Now, currently Dargarad is threshing, so he's adding to the straw unless he's threshing flax. He might just be if he's threshing flax then it's flax the flax uh stalks, that's it, flax stalks that get produced. But for everything else that he threshes, he's producing straw. It's just that I honestly don't think we can keep up with the animal feed production with um, just from from threshing the uh, the different grains. I just I don't I I may have to increase my whole point here is I may have to increase the uh, amount of grains that I produce. Maybe I'm just not doing enough. That might be it. You know, there's such a balance in this game. And the thing is, if we take a look. Like, you, you remember I was having a huge problem with firewood. Let's take a look. There's 31 firewood here, okay? But if we come up here and we take a look and uh, Is it this one that has the firewood in it? Look at that. We've got tons of firewood. So I can grab 50 kilograms of it, which is 84. And then we can just come down here because I don't know if the people will pull firewood from that storage. Uh, they'll pu they'll pull it from the resource storage. And the problem is if once they run out of firewood, they're going to start using sticks. And sticks are much more useful for things. Okay, animal feed. We'll put that away. I will store the grain in here too. And we've got three little straw left. And what's the straw situation? See, this the straw is just going to, it's only going to keep tanking. I had hundreds of it because I wasn't using it for animal feed. And just in a few short seasons, I've dropped down to 200 and some odd. And this is like what I'm sort of, that's where I'm going with all of that. It's a problem. It's a bit, it's a, well, it's a challenge that needs to be sorted out. All right. So, oh, look at that. We've got boots and a fur capelet. Alruna's been, she's been busy. Uh, all right. So, <laughs> I think, uh, I think I think that's it for as far as the uh, the farming is uh, or the the fertilizer is concerned, and the is there anything though that I can? I don't think there's anything that produces straw, other than the barn. Not the hunting lodge, right? Yeah, it just doesn't. None of it does. I. None of this produces it. So that's the problem. Excavation, mine, woodshed. This is all, you just get straw from, from threshing grains. So, all right. Um, that's that. Let's take a quick look at the, uh, the, the, the field situation and make sure that we're sorted out. Uh, I do have to remember to convert that one field over to oats. Uh, wait a minute. What am I doing? Management fields. Uh, flax. Flax is in the spring. So we've got that one's ready, that one's ready, and then I've got a couple. This two, big 256er is ready. And this one, yeah, the, we should be good to go. And what else have we got? We've got cabbage is going to be done in the spring. Uh, carrots are going to be done in the spring. 
we know they aren't. Those carrots were those carrots were planted in the winter, and they will be harvested in the in the fall. No, in the summer. So we don't have to worry about that one. And what else do we have? Wow, we've got flax everywhere, and then we've got wheat. I think we're good. The only thing I'm not planting is well. Let's take a look. Um, beetroot. I do not have any beetroot because I don't really have any use for it. Uh, what else? Uh, cabbage, carrot, flax, oat, onion. Onions. Do we have any onions? No, we do not. Cool. Onions are planted in the spring. Do I want to plant onions? Let's go take a look at the onion situation. Um, element? No. We've got 166. It's at 25%. We have onion seed, right? Uh, let's see. We have 41. Yeah. Let's plant some onions. I just need to figure out where I'm going to plant them. And we are definitely... Uh, making a lot of use of land. <laughs> I could put a little onion patch, like, right here. I don't need a lot of onions, you see. That's the thing. Or we could put it right uh, here. Or up here. Maybe I'll put it up here. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Let's, let's see what we got here. Roads, fences, building. Crops. Oh, man. One of these days I will get that straight. And what do we want to do um, for onions? I don't want a lot of onions. I don't think we need a lot of onions. Okay, I, can, I can't go much. I'm uh, running into the road. So if I go this way, that's a 6 by 6 How about uh, 30? And I can't go that way. I think that's probably fine. We don't need a lot of onions. Yeah, okay. And then what we can do is, um, no, not you. Let's go into management and we've got a new farm and we're going to convert that into onion. There we go. Oh, no, I didn't do that right. There. Perfect. All right. I think we're going to be good to go. I think we're going to be good to go for the next one. All right, so that's I think we're we're ready for the farm the farming situation. Don't worry um if I've missed anything. We can fix stuff in the spring. We will have time. And what I plan on doing is something that uh has been suggested and I am going to be um pulling a lot of people out of their regular tasks and and dumping them into the barn. So the barn is going to be maxed out at 8 people. All right. Now it's time. Your time has come. Yes, we are getting rid of you. The fishing hut. I know that my lovely wife was working in the fishing hut, but she obviously... I, I talked to her. I had a conversation, and she said that she's not interested in, in working uh, in the fishing hut. So, there we go. And... Oh. What? Is there one more? What am I missing? Oh, you! Hey. Okay. And then we can go after you. Ha-ha! <laughs> Problem solved. And then the uh, the other thing we, we need to do is I think we should uh, put some more, like, figure out the fencing situation. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of you and get rid of you. Okay. And then we're going to, let's see, fences. Um, simple stick fence, or do we want to do stick fence? Requires a bigger amount of sticks to build. Let's take a look at our stick situation. Let's put the uh, let's put the the hammer away. What is our? It should be pretty good because I've been shielding the sticks. What about? Oh, what's the firewood at? One hundred and three. Yeah. See, we burn through it in the winter time. You know what? We're burning through it fairly quickly. Let me just double check something. Uh, go into management and. Woodshed. Uh, is this the one that's doing? Nope, this is a uh, fire. Nothing's blocking you. And 
Jerwazy and Ansgar are working on this one, and they are working on yeah. See, there's the firewood. I have one one. Uh, a, I have a dude full time. All he's making is 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 firewood. <laughs> uh, what we might want to do though is stop the log production and convert this this shed into purely 100% firewood because uh, I think that'll be fine. Yeah, so there we go. And then the other one is still doing logs. Yeah, because we have a lot of logs. We have all these logs here, and every time I turn around, there's more logs in here. 254. So yeah, I think I think it's fine. We're gonna be, we're gonna we're gonna convert one of our wood sheds into a firewood only shed. It doesn't have to stay that way. All right, sticks. What is the stick situation? A lot of sticks. That is absolutely wonderful to see. So I'm going to grab something like 400 of them. Uh, oh, let's just be exact. Why not? There we go. And then we're going to we're going to yeah, we're going to take a look and see what we can do here. Now, I think I, I like this being a little path for the animals to get to the water. And what I could do maybe is so we've got a little they've got that here but they can get through here let's see let's get rid of uh let's get rid of you and rethink we need to rethink our fencing situation let's see how about how about we do, let's do stick fence. We're going to do the actual proper stick fence. And then we're going to, we're going to start a fence out here. Do I want to do this? I think I might. Let's do this. We're going to, yeah, we're going to start something right here. <laughs> Very important duck business is going on there. And then I'm going to come out this way. And we're going to go like this. And then from here up to here. Like this. And then we're going to come along the uh, this path. Yeah, this is, I think this will work. Through there. And then we're going to come from here. Down to the water. Right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then... Oh, <laughs> hello, Gosling. And then what we can do is we'll come from uh, from this corner down to the water. I, I By the way, I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to give this a shot. And then we're going to... I can always destroy it and rebuild it again, right? So I'm not too worried about it. And then we're going to come along the water side to there. And then can we, can we come right up to there? <laughs> Is it the goat that's in the way? There we go. And the idea is that this is the this is the the, the all the um the work area now. Uh, in reality, I probably should be redoing some of this. Like I might redo this piece right here uh, because it I've really I've fully enclosed that all the uh, barns in all of these things in. So yeah, that's not a thing. So all right, so let's do uh, building, and this is twelve sticks. Okay. Holy moly. <laughs> this hammer is not... Look at how fast the hammer goes down. <laughs> oh, no. We're on to a new hammer. Oh, this is a lot of sticks. I'm not sure if... I'm not sure if I made the right decision here. 
We're going to find out. But I did want to do at least... I, I've been meaning to rework uh, this whole uh, field, barn... Uh, not barn, but the uh, all the animal housings and the and the um, the fencing and that lamb is really loud. Excuse me, excuse me. Okay. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I I am I don't know what's gonna happen when I actually finish this off. They're gonna all be stuck out of the house. Out of their little areas. Um But they don't seem to respect these fences anyways, so yeah. Not really sure what I'm gonna do about that. There we go. <laughs> I don't wanna hear about it! giving me giving me trouble now is that is that oh it's the two i don't even know which one of you is the one giving me all the a hard time all the time or is it the one is, is she still out in the lake maybe she's out in the river she might be okay let's just keep going do 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 build 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 there we go whoa 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 everybody oh is it nighttime i think everybody's coming in Okay, off you go, guys. Everybody come in. Oh, 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 sorry. There we go. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to have enough sticks to finish this off. This was a very ambitious fence build. These uh, these fences are very expensive. They're, they're 12 per, per segment. Oh, there goes my hammer. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to make a bunch of hammers, I think. Let's see. Uh, to make the hammer, I need sticks and logs, if I remember. Here, actually, we can grab uh, these 25 logs. And then what we can do is uh, go into handcrafting, uh, wooden hammer. We could make 22. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to do that. All right. Well, I think I'm all I'm going to do for the rest of the evening is, is, uh, is, is work on fencing. So... So I'm going to make a whole bunch of hammers. The hammers that I don't use, I'm, I'm obviously I'm just going to put them in the storage and they'll be used by the smithy to make other stuff. So uh, we, we go through hammers very quickly in this, in this village. Uh, people seem to have a thing about abusing their tools. Uh, I've had discussions with the staff about it, but they really don't seem to worry about it all that much. So we're just going to let things go. And yeah. All right, I'm going to finish off working on the fence overnight, and then I think what I'll do is I'll pick up uh, I'll pick up when we transition into spring. So I will... Uh, yeah, this is a great place to stop. Thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, you all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> all right, bye-bye.